Watch this video, do me a solid. Hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell. So I'm trying to teach you something, brother, but you keep spewing out no, a bunch I'm, of stuff. I'm, I'm listening to everything you're you, saying. You know what I'm saying? But you're not listening to what I'm saying. I'm listening you're to not, you. No, you're not. Every, everything I say, you say is wrong, and then you go to your book. Right. And that's why I'm saying, you don't know who made that book. You can, you can, I do. You, you can say you do. Let me ask you the you question. Don't. You don't. At the end of the day, so I'm gonna read it for you. A motherfucker can make another book that looks exactly like that one and put, hey, don't like wood. Watch this. Get through number 28 verse 68. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna show you something right now. I'm gonna read a verse to you. I want you to explain it to me. It's all faith for you. No, it is a lot of faith. It's a lot of faith. Just like you have faith that the cigarette is gonna make you feel better at the end of the day. You understand? You put your faith in the things that people created. I put my faith in the most high God. Yeah, so we yeah, all got yeah, faith. Sure. Yeah, it's just sure. how are you gonna appropriate that faith? What what are you going are you gonna have your faith be in a cigarette? Are you gonna have your faith be in the Bible? Really? It's your choice. It Which one are you gonna No it can't be a both because this says don't do that. Okay. So it can't be both. So you gonna have your faith in the cigarette? Or are you gonna have your faith in the Bible? Who you got? Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68 and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So the Bible says that the people, right, would be brought into Egypt. You understand? Egypt is America today. All right? Egypt is symbolic of America today. All right? Why? Because in America, we were brought here as slaves. In Egypt, we were serving as slaves. Are these facts? Are these facts? In Egypt, we were serving as slaves. In America, we were brought here to serve as slaves. You understand? Hold on. So what I, listen, so what I'm saying is, I'll answer that question. Let me let me finish this one. Alright? Let me finish this one. I got you, I got you. I'm gonna get to it. Just just let me answer this one. Read it again from the top. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So a prophecy that was told to the people that you see on this sign right here all right i'm talking about the american blacks west indian blacks this is what we call them today all right the puerto ricans the cubans the dominicans all right um the seminole indians you understand brazilians all those types of people you understand blacks hispanics latinos to summarize it all right the prophecy that was told to them thousands of years ago all right was what we're reading right now Right? That they will be brought from the land that they were into another land. You understand? Read. Into Egypt again with ships. And they would get there by way of ships. Yeah. Right? They would get there. I don't think you heard that. They would go from one land, right? From being in bondage to another land. You understand? And be in bondage again. Similar to how they were, where they came from. And they would get from point A to point point B on what? A ship. All right, come on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And where you came from, right? That place you came from, you're not going to go back to it. You won't know what where you came from over there. You won't know what region you came from, right? You won't know any of that stuff. You understand? You, you won't even have the same name that you had when you was over there. You understand? Read. And there... Ye shall be sold unto your enemy. You shall be sold to who? Unto your, your enemy. So when you get off that, when you get off of that ship, right, you will be put on a block. Like you see that blue block right there? Yeah. You'll be put on a block like that. And and then what? And shown off or auctioned off. You understand what I'm saying? Right? What are we reading? Right, the Bible. Read on. And there ye should be sold unto your enemies. And you're going to be sold off that block to your friends. Or to your enemies. To people that love you. Your enemies. Do your enemies love you? Your enemies. Do they love you or they hate you? They love. Do your enemies love you or they hate you? No, they hate you, brother. They hate you. Your enemies. They hate you. 
All right, if they, I'm not saying that they don't need you. Just because you need somebody don't mean you love them. You understand? So I'm gonna ask you again, so you can think about it. I mean, do your enemies love you or do they hate you? No, your enemies hate you, brother. Do a people do this to you that love you? A people, when they love you, do they do this to you? No. Do they, <laughs> listen, do people, do they put a, 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 a damn bird cage on your, on, your, on your face with chains and shackles so you can't move that love you? Are people that love you, they do this? You understand, they rape you, they take your babies from you. You understand, you married, they take your wife, they go have sex with it, and they, they throw it back to you, she crying, she sad, ain't nothing you can do about it. Are people that love you, they do that? No. Nah, they don't do that. Are people that love you, put you in the cotton fields, how you picking cotton for 16 hours a day? You understand? No. Hell nah. You understand, are people that love you, they have you sleeping in the basement, in a damn crawl space? You understand? Or they keep you outside in the shed, they put you in the shack. Are people that love you, how you sleeping in the shack? Nah, man. Are people that love you don't do that, man. Are people that tolerate you, Will. They keep you around because they need you. You understand? They keep you around because they need you. But are people that love you don't do that. Are people that love you will take care of you. They make you sure you got good living conditions. You understand? Make sure you got good health care. You understand? They provide those things for you. All right? They'll do that for you. Are people that love you will do that. You understand? Right, are people that love you will care for you, right? Right? Right, well, are people that love you hang you from a damn tree, right? And take pictures, and take pictures like they looking at a, uh, a damn uh, a movie, or like they with a celebrity, because he hanging from a tree. They all gather around, take a picture. People that love you do that? Nah, bro. People that love you don't do that, bro. You gotta be real with yourself. And you don't be real with yourself, I can't help you, bro. People that love you will not do it. Well, people that love you do those things, bro. No, no absolutely you not. Uh, people that love you will not do that. All right, read what you got. Zechariah chapter 1, verse 15. And I am very sore displeased with the heathen that are at ease. For I was but a little displeased. And they helped forward the affliction. They did what? They helped forward the affliction. So that means that they, they help the, they help keep it going. The affliction, the pain. Even until this day, what's happening to us out here? We get killed in these streets all across the nation. No matter where you go. People that love you do that. People that love you put your uh, damn knee on you. You can't breathe. You calling for your mama. People that love you to do that. You understand? Right. They, they, they hate you, brother. They're showing their hatred by their actions. Somebody, but you by murdering them. That's how you hate them. If you, if you can't love them, then you can't hate them. If you, if you got the same emotion, nah, you, you, somebody, gonna, you can't have the same emotion to hate somebody. Those are both strong ass Nah, people. you're right, but your actions will truly show what you feel on the inside. And if you consistently murder, kill, rape, rob, you understand, uh, 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 bamboozle, manipulate a people, you're not showing love to them. You're, you're not doing that. You're not doing that to them. If you bringing drugs into the community, you understand? If you're not providing us with good jobs, you understand? If, you, if you're putting us, if you're creating an environment that's conducive for death, you're not showing love to that people when you have the means to provide better living conditions. So that's if, hatred you're and, showing and to a community. You, know they don't you understand? Us, if you know they don't love us, why expect that? Right. You do it yourself. No, my point is, if you know these hold on. Love us, listen, listen, listen. You're going somewhere else with it. My point is, when you got off those auction blocks, you were sold to your enemies. That's my point. I'm talking about right now. Yeah. All right. All right, what you got? Go back to Deuteronomy chapter 28. So Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. I don't want you to miss the point because thousands of years ago, it was prophesied that a people would go from one land, from one land that they were serving as slaves in, that they was in bondage in, and they would be taken by ships across the waters to another land, they would do the same thing. Then they would get off of those, those ships be put on auction blocks, sold off to their enemies. That's what happened to you and your people, right? Like I said, Hold I, on. I was blessed to live with the daughter of a slave. So I heard all the stories first hand. I should have asked you this first. All, all the stories. What's your nationality? No, your father's black or your mother's black? All right, all right, so your father's black. All right, so your history, according to the Bible, you came over here by way of cargo slave ships. That's facts. That's facts. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision 
The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.